Hello again. Welcome to part three of this booster review series. I wasn't planning on making a third video, but following the initial test I couldn't help but wonder if additional boosting would result in beneficial effects. I won't be rehashing my initial conclusions, nor discuss full details of the boosting procedure. I encourage you to watch the first and second part of this series instead. Links are provided in the description. Just to bring you up to speed, I'm testing six different boosters. Falco Tempo Long, Falco Platinum, and then three versions of Haifu Sea Moon, that is the regular version, the national yellow version, the national black version, and finally the Kailin booster. Originally, I applied two booster layers directly on the sponge of 41 degree Hurricane 3 orange sponge rubbers. Following the original test, discussed in parts 1 and 2 of this series, I removed the Hurricane 3s and applied a third booster layer on the existing dry glue layer, waited overnight and then reassembled the paddles. What follows are my brief comments how the third booster layer changed the playing properties of the Hurricane 3s relative to the original test. The effect of the third layer was most prominently felt with a Falco Temple Long Booster. Loops felt significantly crisper and there was a marked clicky feeling. The Hurricane 3 has a stronger catapult and also feels softer. Accordingly, pushes and blocks had a greater tendency of going long. Next, we have the Falco Platinum. I still found it challenging to produce powerful loops due to the low trajectory and hard feeling of this rubber. This rendered it easy for my practice partner to block aggressively and put me under pressure. One needs to be ready to follow up with fit ball attacks. I still struggled to develop a good feeling whilst pushing, whereas blocking, by and large, remained very solid. Next up, the regular version of the Haifu booster. Loops seemed even faster and also slightly spinnier than in the original test. The biggest difference, however, was whilst blocking. The triple boosted rubber was a beast, lightning fast blocks that landed consistently. Next up, we have the national yellow version of the Haifu booster. Loops remained spinny and dangerous, however the Hurricane 3 seemed to have become slightly softer and a little less crisp relative to the original test. Pushes remain very spinny and the blocks still very solid. Next, the national black version of the Haifu booster. The Hurricane 3 was marginally softer and faster, but I still struggled to generate powerful loops. I was easily put under pressure on the fifth ball. Blocking remained very solid and was even a little faster. However, I still struggled to push with quality and consistency. Uh. Lastly, we have the Kailin booster. The Hurricane 3 seemed a little faster, allowing me to win more direct points.
Similarly, blocks, especially those from mid-distance, were more dangerous. So there you have it. A third booster layer had some added benefits when using the Falco Temple Long, the regular Haifu, and the Kailin boosters, whereas the changes were minimal when using the Falco Platinum and the National Black version of Haifu's booster. I wouldn't use three layers with the National Yellow Haifu booster. This concludes this three video series on boosters. I hope you found this information to be useful. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks, until next time.